Hi, it's Juliet. Welcome back to my green moments. I am sharing with you uh, plants that I have at home and how I care for them. And today is the green moment of Stromanta tricolor, also known as ginger plant. I love the foliage of this plant and the color pattern. It has a dark or dull red color at the bottom and has white, dark, and light green on top. It's very festive. It's amazing. It's very cheerful. When the light hits the back of the leaf, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this beautiful pink just shines through. I have this plant for over a year. We went through all seasons together. It did struggle through the winter time. This plant loves really bright, indirect uh, light. The best place for this plant is east facing window. I have northeast, but mostly north. So I get a little bit of uh, sun here and there, but the plant is happy right now when the spring and summer is here, the days are longer, the light is brighter. The plant is shooting the new leaves like crazy. So it's much happier. But we did go through the winter with few challenges. Uh, when um, there's not enough light, uh, if it's not uh, properly regulated watering frequency, the low humidity makes this plant turn its leaves brown. It gets a lot, a lot of brown tips. I did solve the watering frequency thing for the first three, four months. I could not use the self-watering feature of the planter. Uh, as I mentioned before, all my plants at home are potted and we choose a self-watering planters. So this is one of that planter. But at the beginning for the first three, four months, unfortunately, I cannot use the self-watering feature. I have to wait for the roots to grow into the pot uh, before I can start using the self-watering feature. So I'm watering the plant through the soil at the beginning. And while I was doing it, trying to figure out the frequency, it did struggle, but once I switched to the self-watering uh, method, plants are happy, it takes, it has kind of control over how much water it takes. It drinks as fast as it wants to. Right now, using the self-watering method, I water it probably once every three and a half weeks. Before that, I was watering it once every two weeks. So now when uh, I have an extra water reservoir, so extra supply, the frequencies of watering is much lower. So the usual routine, I will check the soil, see if the plant needs to be watered, I will clean it. Right now, when the doors and uh, windows are open, there is more dust coming in, so cleaning my plants is a more frequent thing. Instead of doing it at least once every two weeks, I have to do it once a week, of course, but the regular cleaning and uh, light dusting off, you can always use the duster. You can use just a um, moist paper towel. It is important to clean top and under of the leaves. And it's not only for the purpose of keeping the leaf free of dust so you can absorb the light, plus it's hygiene, basic hygiene, so you can have a clean air around you, but it's also to prevent from any insects making home on your plant. So if you clean top the leaf and under the leaf, you can even wipe off the stems, you're removing uh, an invisible to our eye eggs. So this way, there'll be no bug party on your plant. So let me check the soil um, for the humidity level. This guy is native to Brazil, so it's a tropical plant. Of course, it likes a lot of humidity. And as I said, that's why there is a lot of uh, brown tips happening often. You can miss the plant every day, but it does not it will love it, that refreshing mist, but it will not create needed um, humid humidity around the plant. So I recommend using humidifier. It's also good for your skin. It's good for all other plants as well. So if you can do that, just have a humidifier nearby. But again, misting, it's always good. All plants like to have that refreshing mist. So let's check the water. I did water this plant. Maybe I can just move closer so you can see. So it's in a dry zone. Ideally, ideally, 
uh, for this plant, it would be for me to water it between its three and four, which is the top of the dry zone and the beginning of the moist zone. This guy likes the moisture. If you are not using the soil moisture meter, which I strongly recommend and I use it for all my plants, you can always test the soil with your finger. You need to stick it in the soil as deep as possible. If the soil feels wet or really moist, you have to wait, but if it feels dryish, just kind of at the beginning of getting dry, that's the perfect time for this plant to get watered. So my plant is ready and I am going to uh, fill up the water reservoir. I am also adding magic plant food full of vitamins and nutrients. There are no chemicals. The plants love it and I'm uh, using it through spring and summer. So I started using it in spring and I do see how many more leaves are shooting out. So the plant really, all plants would love it. And you will be happy with the results too. You can see all the new leaves that look like little tubes. And then they like open up and unwirled. So the plant is happy now it's spring and summer is very active period for the plant growth. So that's perfect time to give it an extra uh, so needed vitamins. I have diluted uh, the plant food in the water. You need one tablespoon for a gallon of water. Uh, this water and can is half a gallon. So I only did half of uh, a tablespoon. Tablespoon, did I say tablespoon? Tablespoon. And I'm just simply filling up the reservoir through an opening. I do have a water level indicator here. And it tells me uh, when the reservoir is full. So the red stick will rise to the maximum mark that I know the reservoir is full and I can stop pouring water. Oh, I just need a touch more. <coughs> So the plant is watered. Now it will drink its vitamin mixed water. Uh, I will take its time. Whenever it's ready, I will uh, water it again. Uh, when I see that the red stick is back down to the minimum mark, I know that reservoir is empty. Plant used all the water, but it does not mean that the soil is dry and ready for another uh, watering round. When the reservoir is empty, all I'm doing, I'm just grabbing my tool and once once a week, once every few days, I'll just test the soil to uh, see where the soil moisture levels are. And once it's between three and four, I will refill the reservoir. Let me check if I need to trim any of the leaves. Uh, and much better, I'm going to move closer to you guys. So you can see what I'm doing. So uh, there's a little round tip here. When you're trimming the leaves, make sure your scissors are sharp and clean. And you want to follow the natural leaf shape. See the nat natural leaf shape is very pointy. So when you trim the leaf, you would want to keep the natural shape of the leaf in place so it doesn't look like you have just cut it in a straight line and butchered the plant just sharp there's another yeah so you see it just does that that's just the nature of this plant it's not that you're doing something wrong if you well if you have a lot a lot of brown tips like big pieces of a leaf turning brown you have to really uh figure out if uh you're having a proper watering frequency so I would recommend for you to get that moisture soil moisture meter will definitely help you to establish a much better watering routine not bad my dear not bad just a few leaves oh, overall it's great this is done um, Move this guy back so you can see it's a beautiful plant in full shape. Again, uh, you can use uh, the sweeper 
to clean your leaves. I think today I'm gonna use a paper towel because I feel like there is a little more dust than usual again because probably the windows are open. Maybe it was windy uh, the other day, but I would want to, yeah, really give it a nice moist cleaning. And it's very therapeutic, by the way. As I mentioned many times in my video, just relax, take your time. Look at the leaves, enjoy the pattern, mm -hmm. clean them up, and they turn shiny. It's an instant satisfaction, as you can see the results of your work right away. Very good. New York City dust is a white color, so you don't really see it, but it is there. Once you start cleaning and getting closer to the plant, you will see all this dust. When you're cleaning the leaves, don't forget to clean the pot as well. Make sure the top of the soil is free of any debris, dry leaves. It's important overall to keep the plant and it's planter, like dusting off here, because you don't want to create any unhealthy environment around you and around your plants. I think, oh, there's another brown tip here. I just love it. I wish I could show it to you when the light hits the back, the front of the leaf, and it looks everything is so pink and it's just amazing. Did I lose it? Where's that leaf? Oh, there it is. Oh, because oh, there is another one here. Just a little tiny tip. very good and it's heavy and again please please keep your pots clean the plants clean just the basic hygiene by the way this is the last um, foliage plant in my home collection I'm sure I'm going to get more and I will definitely share more uh, about my new plants and the care routine I have for them. That's it for today for this beautiful and unique vibrant plant and it's Stromantha tricolor. You guys take care of yourself, take care of your plants, be well and I see you soon.